checking some of the key features for eDrawings Pro. I'll be using one of the sample files given, in this case a spreader, aka Jossel Life. It only takes a few seconds to load up, a minimal lag. Just like SolidWorks, you can zoom in, you can zoom out, we can rotate and we can pan as well. And the phone graphics needs to be keeping up with the software. On the right column, you'll find numbers which indicate the parts in the assembly. We can tap on the individual parts to highlight them. Now if we hit the familiar assembly icon on top right, we can expand the parts tree. Here you can see the parts within the assembly and its descriptions. Note that all the parts and sub-assemblies will appear as well. And like number 38, you can hide them if you like, you don't have to. What's good about this app is that you're not required to have all the reference files open or available to view this model or drawing which is good for memory. Now this is a configurations icon. You can find open jaws, section views, you can even add animations to it which is good for demos. To the right you'll see a pencil icon. This is where you can find all your notations if any. We'll see more of this shortly. Now let's say we wanted to examine a particular part in the assembly. We can highlight the specific part just by tapping onto it. And on the right, you'll see number eight light up. That corresponds to the part in your BOM. Now we can use the show hide feature on the bottom right, as I just did here. Um, and we can examine the surroundings. We can also make this specific part transparent. This allows us to understand the interfaces between a part and the assembly. We're also given the option to isolate the part, which is good when it comes to modifying parts. Let's say we're brainstorming and we want to make notations on, uh, just add notes to ourselves that we want to change the diameter of this hole or add or change a feature. We can add notes to this part, save it, and email it to ourselves, and then open it in SOLIDWORKS and make the changes as we see fit. I'll show you how to do notes soon. On your left, the square with arrows icon, this is where you'll find your view options such as front view, back view, left, right view, isometric view, you also have perspective view, and you're also given the options for wireframe or smooth or hidden lines. The icon right above it will turn your assembly into an explorative view of itself and allow you to get a better perspective for the assembly. Here you can zoom in and out. This is this is a good option for out on the shop floor. You don't really require a drawing uh, per se, or on the field, or if you're showing a demo to a, a potential customer. Now I hit the home button go back to the original view. It's a little house. Uh, now let's say we wanted to examine the internals of this assembly. We can do so with the section view icon right below the measuring tool. Looks like a little tape. Um, in e-drawings, you just like SolidWorks, you can move this uh, reference plane. So you can choose at which point of the along the part you want to actually view your section plane. Um, we can also change the X and Y coordinates of it, rotate and such. Um, in e-drawings, you can also annotate on the fly. You can add notes while you're brainstorming at any point, and it adds arrows to the model or the drawing if you were to have that. Um, and you can move these so that way you can highlight specific areas. Add notes to yourself, things that you're commenting during a brainstorming session, which you can reference later on. It gives you different border options, so you can differentiate between each note. You 
Here, I'll show you the last border here. Now there is also a free hands notes option, which allows you to hand sketch any ideas and make references to such. Here, I'll just draw a smiley face to show you. You can run different options at the same time in this app. For example, if you want to compare one cross section to another, let's say, for a deeper understanding of what's going on. Let's say we're troubleshooting or brainstorming. Uh, we can do so. Simply obtain one cross section. We'll take a snapshot, suggested the screen went blank. Um, I'll do another cross section just outside the previous. Like I said, I can move this reference plane as I see fit anywhere, anywhere along the part. Say I want to put it right outside the cylinder body, right there. Now what I can do is go back to the annotations icon. Let me just zoom in here. And I can add the snapshot that I took of the first cross section. Since I took a screenshot basically, I can go back to my photos, pick that out and put it in my view. I can adjust this picture as I see fit with these yellow dots on each corner. So I can expand them, rotate it, and move it around. Now I can put it side by side. This allows me to compare and get a better view of what's going on. Fingers are a little big, I can't really rotate it as well right now. But uh, you do have the option to flip your phone so you can operate it at a wider range. Um, now if we go to the tree section and look under annotations, here you will find the notes and any additions that we have made. And you can switch back and forth between options, pretty simple and fast. That's an important feature as you can save later on for future reference of all these notes and section views and collaborate with any of the colleagues. And it goes by order of how you made them. Now on the top left, you will see a play icon. This option gives you a demo um, video, so to speak. Um, what it does, it runs the view through all of the planes, front, back, left, right, and ISO as well. At any point, the this is going on, you can stop it by double tapping the screen. This is a good option when you're demoing a product on a screen next to the display, let's say at an event. You just have this running in the background. So these four arrows that come together just removes all the options out of your screen and puts them back together as well. Um, the symbol to the left of the question mark on top this will give you the option to save a file, save an image, which is basically kind of like a screenshot, or you can save it into an email and send it. Now let's say you received an email from another colleague and you want to open any drawings. Simply open your email, let, um, let the file download, then it should recognize the type of file and it'll link it to eDrawings right away. Now the first time you're opening into eDrawings, it's gonna take a little bit of uh, a few seconds just to open up because it's recognizing everything. Um, otherwise, it's pretty pretty fast as you saw before. 
Now to test the reliability of this app, I chose to open uh, this extremely big assembly file. When doing when opening big assembly files, please remember to turn off or close all your apps as it'll consume memory just as it would on a desktop desktop version. Now if we go back to our folders, you'll be able to find this file. Even after you close this app and reopen under my files, you can see all the previous files that you've viewed before. You can save as well.